it's time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. G'day, another day, another beer. It's good saying that. Um, so today I got uh, Mrs. Manawa Brew to pick, pick a beer. So <coughs> today we're going to have a big bottle. So the rest of the bottles I've had I think have been 330s except for the Manuka Brown. Um, so this one is Shadow Liberation from RO028NZ. Um, the style on this is a speciality beer so quite clever there because it doesn't matter what you breathe you can just chuck it in there. Um, but he's put some notes in there. Oh, I'm assuming it's a he. Pretty sure I know it's a he. Um, so a robust porter aged on Jack Daniels Tennessee honey bourbon and oak chips. Comes in at 6.7% and 45 IBUs. So, without further ado, let's get into it. To clean up the top of the fridge. A little bit shot in the way. Right, so it looks pretty good. Like a decent head on it. I've got giant fingers, so um, yeah, that's um, nice, creamy, creamy pillow head. Not too much of a smell on it. Aroma, sorry, not a smell. A smell in here. A little bit of chocolate. Little, little bit of roast. Not much bourbon there though. But yeah, the colour is um, beautiful. Nice um, jet black. You can't see through that. I've got the light right on top of it. And there's no sense through that. Cheers. <clears throat> nice, nice, heavy, thick mouth. That lacing. Um, yeah, no, nice, good mouth. Um, get all those typical uh, roasty and toasty notes from the porter. A little bit of the oak there, but it's not too overpowering. That's, um, yeah, that's nice. See if I can uh, taste taste the bourbon or the or the, or the the honey or honey bourbon even. Yeah, it's there. Get a little bit of the bourbon. Loving that mouthfeel. Though. That's really velvety. Um, and I've let this warm up too. Got it out of the fridge as soon as I got home, so it's been outside, more out in room temp for a couple of hours. That's really, really nice. Could deal with a bit more, bit more character on the nose. You swill it up, and you get, um, you get the bourbon. You get a rush of bourbon, and then the oak, and then it just subdues again back into those toasted notes. All right. I'm going to go uh, score it up and we'll see you next beer. Cheers.